Would you buy this Glock? Yeah, that's a question I'm going to ask. And I'm talking about the Glock that Glock entered into the Army's modular handgun system trials. Let's take a look at it and talk about it. As you see from the picture here, you have an FDE colored Glock, but it's a little unique. It's a Model 19 slide and barrel mounted on a shroud shortened to the size of a Model 19, Model 17 receiver. You'll notice that the receiver has a Gen 4 texturing, interchangeable back straps, but it's missing something. It's missing the finger grooves. And of course, the finger grooves are great if you have the exact size hand to fit those grooves. If not, not so much. And there's a lot of guys out there that have Glocks that I'm sure wish the finger grooves weren't there. And I've even seen several of them sand the finger grooves off and put a larger undercut. I question whether the undercut here on the gun in this picture, and you know, you might type in down below, tell me what you think. It almost appears to me like it has more of an undercut than normal. And that was my initial reaction, but now I question that maybe it isn't just in my mind because it doesn't have the finger grooves. It looks more like an undercut to me than an actuality. You Glock owners out there, type in down below, tell me what you think on that. The thing that interests me about this gun, well, first off, you notice that it has one thing no, none of the Glocks have, or very few. Some of them do, and um, they've actually made Glocks with safeties on them on a lot of contracts, military law enforcement contracts. Here, though, you see the safety. That's something they don't see in the civilian market, and it's a 1911-style safety, a thumb-activated safety, where it's safe when it's up, and... It's in the fire mode when you push the safety down. Of course, it also has a lanyard ring at the bottom. Yeah, something that the Glock Cowboy missed on his little review of this gun. At any rate, I asked the question if this is something you'd be interested in because for years I had to carry a Beretta 92. Actually, it's a 92D, which is designates double action only, no safety, 92D Centurion. And the Centurion was a shorter slide and barrel than the stock 92FS. Pretty much the same dimensions as this gun right here. And you know, one thing I really liked about that gun was the full grip frame and the shorter barrel. Actually, I had... I know a lot of guys don't like the larger grip frames because they print too easy, but I never had, in all those years I carried that, never had a problem with that. I dressed accordingly in my equipment. You know, you buy the right equipment for the job, and I never had that problem. And in a shoulder holster, of course, the shorter barrel is awful nice, and again with the belt holster, or even inside the waistband, the shorter barrel's nice. And I just really, really did like that gun. This, with the same dimensions, I'd be very interested in having that gun. And I noticed that SIG has what they call their carry frame for the SIG P250 and 320, which is basically the same configuration. It's the full-size frame with a full-size magazine and the shortened compact slide and barrel. Well, I thought I'd share that with you today. I... If, in case you hadn't seen what the the Glock that they entered into that trial actually looked like, and yeah, I, I I certainly would like to see them offer in the civilian market a Glock with no finger grooves. I I think they're really missing out on a great deal of sales there, and I also think if they brought this configuration out, I'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, go out and stay safe.